Lincoln Financial Field, but keep in mind it is technically still summer as we get you ready for some football in Philly. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. A run for the former Seahawk. It's Rashad Penny. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts. He'll get this out wide to Penny. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. I know it was a game. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. This short throw caught by Goddard. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 34-yard line. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. A great way to get the game going. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and four. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. In the end, Opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Jackson on the give to Dalvins. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Dobbins with a typical strong run, and three years in, you still feel like you haven't seen all he can be as a pro. Injuries wiped out 2021 and part of 2022. But when he's out there and healthy, he can be electric. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And they run the option on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Keeper, it's going to bring up the third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From just shy of midfield, here's second and six. Jackson options out left. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and ten at the 45-yard line. The slot man in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Jackson. another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 15 yard line give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll this drive continues to plunge forward Barney you know when we call a game we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground how tough that is for a defense but how about his development as a thrower as a professional yeah boy the strength on 
display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Now it's Jackson. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. This is caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. James Prochet, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead. That's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end for the kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Leaves it for Penny. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Coming up on a second and six. Here's Hertz to throw. Out route pass complete to Goddard. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. That's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pull it and get the yardage himself. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he'll be taken down near the 20 of the 21. Roquan Smith, the all-pro, the former Bear, is there to make the stop. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. 
On second down, here's Penny. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Sets up to throw it. And he's got his man. It's the tight end gunner. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have regained the lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 10-7. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. It's caught. Back up. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 35-yard line. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. On second down, here's Jackson. Able to get away. And we complete to Pershaw. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Again, Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. No gain on the screen there at second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. 
So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach Duvernay now going to bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Jalen Carter working his way back behind the line of scrimmage and dropping it for a loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. A big part of the middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Situation. The Ravens send their punter out now. Standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch called for him made just inside the 35-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We hit a wall, so to speak. And hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Now an option play on second down. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On first and 10, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Second down, here's Hurts. Dumps that off to Penny, his running back. 
And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The sack there by Roquan Smith. The only reason we don't hear more about Smith as a blitzer is because he does so much elsewhere in the Bears and now the Ravens' defenses. Still had four and a half sacks last year, along with 169 tackles. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. So it was a three point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. Going to bring it out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop it right at the line. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Early down steps to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the security point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson quickly into the hands of Becker. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And they run the option here on first and ten. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. The tackle by Terrell Edmonds. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop. And it just never materialized. And down he went behind the line of scrimmage. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now Jackson on second down. A short one there, caught by Likely. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Jackson looking to throw on third. And that will be incomplete. And the other day they told us when we got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess. 
guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Pass to Brown, he's got him on the crossing run. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 36. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll learn him a fresh set of downs. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over there. certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Here's Jackson to throw. This goes to a former Eagle, Nelson Aguilar. First target, first catch, and a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now Jackson on first down. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. 
Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. To throw again is Jackson. Caught left side is Beckham. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Jackson going to find his running back here. It's Dobbins. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Another try, second and 10 now. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. A short throw caught by Andrews. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Jackson. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. And he's got his tight end, that's Andrews. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, this game's not done just yet. A big conversion there on fourth down, and a big gainer as well. They're going to have to play perfect football from here and get all the breaks, but at least they're giving themselves a shot. Here's Jackson. Take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. So a seven-point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. 
And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Again, it's Penny. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it off from here. in the victory formation as they take an E. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. But we got a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Garden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.